my name is Eric Muller. I'm with the Exploratorium Teacher Institute. I'm one of the senior science educators here, and I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite exhibits called the Sound Column. The Sound Column is an exhibit that's outside the main museum. It's here in the structure called the Rotunda. This thing was built for the 1915 Panama Pacific World's Fair. The interesting thing about this exhibit is that it's in one of the legs of this structure over here. You've got to get a key to get in. So you might want to ask one of the staff members here at the museum to bring you in over here. Let's go. Come on in. So here we are inside of the sound column. It's this really tall, concrete lined room that has these great echoing qualities. In front of me is this xylophone made out of these metal plates and when you hit them they make some spectacular sounds. These plates are color coded and because of their differing lengths they produce sounds of different frequencies. The short plate makes a wave that is sh shorter, and the long plate makes a wave that's longer. Multiples of these waves have been tuned to fit just right in this room. So if you notice behind me, you'll see representations of sound waves that are emanating from the plates in front of me. These plates are color-coded, and so are the tiled models behind me. For example, over here, this green one represents the sound waves coming off of the green plate over there. So I have a microphone on my collar right here. I'm going to hit the yellow plate over here. The sound is going to be louder, and I'm going to bend over to over here where the yellow is the narrowest, and listen to that. Okay, here we go. Notice the difference. It's pretty striking. So, to show you a different way of how the sound waves in this room vary depending on its height and, this, and the wavelengths of the sound waves over here, we're going to use this computer program. Right now, this program is analyzing my voice, but pretty soon I'm going to walk back towards the wall and I'm going to lift my head up and down and put it in different positions and you can see where the sound gets soft or loud depending on the wavelength of the plate I hit. Watch the trace and listen. Narrow spot. Wide spot. Narrow spot. So, besides this being a really cool exhibit, one of my favorite exhibits, you might be saying, yeah, well, so what does this have to do with my life? Well, there's a lot of things that resonant waves have to do with your life, but one of the places in particular where you might run into this is in the shower. When you sing in the shower, a lot of times you sing really well at certain notes because of the way the waves bounce off the walls. So, I'm going to get some help to show you how cool it is when waves bounce off of walls. I'm going to go get the TI Choir.